the headlines, Ghana will help make Pan-African vaccine manufacturing projects a success, President Ekufado says in Kigali, Rwanda. Three unions join Arise Ghana's protests. Simca July 31st deadline will not be extended, according to the Minister of Communications. Mason, who was accused of killing Nisi's boyfriend in Bolgatanga, acquitted and discharged. And we play back what former President Kufuor said about Baumia on Father's Day, how it was reported in sections of the media, and the reaction from the former president's office. Welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. There was a groundbreaking ceremony for the commencement of construction of a vaccine manufacturing plant in Kigali, Rwanda today. In attendance was President Kufuado. Expressing his gratitude to President Paul Kagami for the invitation to participate in the event, President Kufuado indicated that the commencement of the construction signals to the rest of the world the commencement of this end-to-end -end vaccine manufacturing facility involving Rwanda, Senegal, and my own country, Ghana. When we met in Marburg in Germany some four months ago, there were some who secretly doubted our resolve to bring this all-important project, which will boost Africa's capacity to be self-reliant in the production of vaccines, to fruition. I'm happy we have with today's event been able to confound these doubting pharmacists. I'm grateful to my senior and good friend, the redoubtable President of the Republic of Rwanda, His Excellency Paul Kagame, for inviting me to participate in this great groundbreaking ceremony. A coalition of three unions operating in the transport sector have thrown their weights behind a two-day protest slated for June 28 and 29 being organized by the Arise Ghana group to protest, among others the increase in fuel prices and the electronic transaction levy. The unions, Commercial Road Transport Operators, Concerned Spare Pass Dealers Association and the National Okada Riders Association announced their participation at a press conference in Accra today. The General Secretary for the Coalition, Aminu Yusif, lamented the consistent increase in fuel prices cost of auto spare parts and vehicles, cost of motorbikes, as well as poor road network across the country. The Ministry of Communications and Digitalization says the July 31st deadline for the registration of SIM cards will not be extended. The sector minister, Eslewusu Okufu, speaking in parliament today, said there will be no extension this time as it was done with the March 31st earlier deadline. Mr. Speaker, the deadline for the exercise was extended by four months and it will end on 31st July 2022. It will not be extended again and I take this opportunity to urge everyone who has not yet registered their SIM cards to do so by 31st July 2022. In Bolgatanga, a 38-year-old Mason who was standing trial for allegedly killing the boyfriend of his niece in the course of a scuffle has been acquitted and discharged. Joseph Akongo Adabono was put before court in 2019, charged with murder for killing Isaac Kaba Akasumba, a neighbor's son. Our reporter Gilbert Mauli Agbe who was at the court reports that the supervising judge at the Bolgatanga High Court 1, Justice Charles A.J. Wilson, gave the ruling after the final verdict of a seven-member jury unanimously found the accused not guilty yesterday. And before we go, former President Kufo and Vice President Dr. Maumu Dubalmia were both guests of honor at a Father's Day soiree that was organized by the Pediasi Valley Resort and Hotel last Sunday. The master of ceremony for the occasion, Mr. Sefakain, who stated that when the vice president was invited the day before, he was on assignment in the north and appeared unavailable to be present. When Dr. Baumia was told that former president Kufour would also be in attendance, it is reported that he said, if it is Kufour, then I will surely come and missed his signature giggle. 
Former President Kufo in his address at the function singled out Dr. Baumia and spoke about how the relationship between him and Dr. Baumia has been over the years by way of father and son. He said Baumia's response to the invite and his comment was very touching. That comment and how it has been reported in some sections of the media has elicited a reaction from the office of the former president. In a statement issued by Dr. Kwabina Osei Edubofo, an aide of Mr. Kufo, his office explained that it was not true that the former president has endorsed any of the aspirants in the NPP flag bearership race. We play back what Kufo said at the function. Let me single out one person. Uh, incidentally, he is also a father. But uh, I can claim that he happens to be my son too. And that's the vice president sitting right by me. And your narration said uh, when the planners decided to invite the vice president, you learned he'd gone to the north for some duties. And you even doubted whether he would still manage to come. But you fought him. And uh, with his uh, signature, is it laughter or giggle? Giggle! <laughs> uh, he said, if it's Jay before I'm coming. Uh, that's so touching. Graphic Online's News and Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic, YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echa Safo. Subscribe now.